Thank you, the Head of Ceremonies, uh, the Honorable Dr. Ika Kandimurami, the Minister of Higher Education, Technology and Innovation, uh, Dr. Nanda, the Deputy Executive Director of the Ministry, uh, Chairpersons of the, the University Councils here present, President of AFIM, uh, the deans, directors, lecturers, heads of pub, uh, our public enterprises under the ministry, uh, TVET centre heads, I've seen quite a number of them here, our student leaders, uh, members of the media, a very good morning to you all. Uh, my task is quite simple. I am here to welcome each and every one of you to this. If I recall, this is the first engagement that we have as a sect, that we will be having as a sector. Uh, as you know, after the creation of the ministry in 2015, we had a scoping mission from UNESCO uh, through which we identified strategic issues to be addressed. And these issues uh, guided our implementation over the last few years. Uh, as the director of ceremonies has been saying, as the landscape, operating landscape is changing, it becomes very important for us to have a session like that, this one, in order for us to discuss and share ideas. I know we, since 2016, we experienced economic slowdown, allocations to the various institutions reduced substantially. I know there was a particular financial year that the allocation drops significantly. It was one of maybe the tough years for this sector. Uh, this engagement uh, that we're having has been impacted on issues such as COVID, the issues that we had discussions around the issue of artificial intelligence, the issue of uh, the fourth industrial revolution, these are engagements that we have, and as a sector, we have also introduced a significant number of new science-based programs in response to the demands in our economy. These various activities, as well as the increase in student numbers, we know that we are now approaching close to 70,000, but I know that it's around 69,000 students participating in our university element, and we have about 35,000 students participating, uh, trainees in our TVET sector. One of the critical issues that I really have to commend the universities and TVET centers is your responses during COVID. I don't think we had a chance to really thank you and appreciate what the universities did. During COVID, the sector has really proven that they have the capacity to respond to social needs and to development needs. I know uh, both, I've seen private universities, private institutions, sending nurses to participate and assist the government. I've seen uh, institutions engaging in the testing facility, uh, developing and certifying the testing facilities. So many, many uh, responses came from the sector. Maybe you should give yourself a hand for that. <laughs> this engagement uh, is structured in a certain way. We want us to discuss frankly issues around is that one? to discuss issues around uh, a number of issues. Uh, 
We want your suggestions. We want your experiences around the, the, these various issues. Uh, it is not critiquing papers. It is a reflection and comments and strategies that you have implemented as institutions. It is your views pertaining to way for, the way forward, particularly in terms of these issues. We have issues. The first topic is the issue of, of uh, the reform uh, general education curriculum. We, in the beginning, we had our uh, 2021, we had our first call into uh, the higher education sector. Uh, what is the experiences of that? You, there are a number of discussions that took place during that time when uh, we received the graduates. Diverse views were raised pertaining to the uh, students or learners coming from our general education system. There are other developments that has led to us to engage around the issue of, of, of the AS, the issue of the changes, and to see how best we can, as a sector, strengthen our collaboration with the basic education system. To see how we can, maybe as part of research and development, look at uh, analyzing certain things, uh, areas trying to identify where could there be some bottlenecks in the system. We can maybe look at issues of, of uh, the, the sectors, the teacher education, whether the, the, what we are doing in the training system needed maybe changes in terms of whether uh, the teaching methods that we are using with a changing technological environment, it becomes important that we should look at things like how we teach. Uh, the second issue that we will be discussing is the la labor demand and supply. I remember many people we are saying there's a mismatch. Yes, there might be a mismatch, but the basic question is, it's an issue of labor demand and labor supply. In terms of the demand side, there seems to be a sizable number that goes, uh, there seems to be a number of issues. What is it that as, as a sector that we can maybe contribute in terms of improving the demand side of the equation? Because there are issues or contributions that we can make as a sector in terms of maybe expanding and diversifying our economy, in terms of the types of industries that we are focusing on, for strategies, how best we can translate many of our research out outcomes to, to uh, commercial enterprises and so forth. That's the second issue that uh, we'll have to look into. You know that after, uh, currently, we are having the issue of the types of institutions that we are having. We have universities, we have TVET centers. In the middle, there seems to be a gap. Uh, how do we fill this gap? I know that uh, there's been an exercise to look at minimum standards. We will hear presentations around the minimum standards. When do you call an institution to be a university? When do you call an institution to be an institute? Or something like that. So those things are important as a sector. Let's exercise our minds around this and see, give our comments and see how we can deal with it. In terms of economic landscape, we have different things. I've referred to uh, the outcomes of the AI conference that we had in the fourth industrial revolution uh, mapping exercise or readiness assessment that we had. How do you respond to these things as a sector? Uh, the issue of the oil and gas discoveries, the green hydrogen, what are the skills, what are the changes that we need in our sector? In our sector? Yes, we need to understand that maybe the base knowledge of the programs uh, exist. Maybe you require just uh, topping up uh, exercise, maybe a few months exercise, 
uh, focusing on certain uh, skill sets to be developed. And maybe that's one way to respond. Or we need to maybe introduce new programs entirely to respond to the needs of uh, the new economic areas that are on the table. The issue of graduate youth unemployment first and graduate unemployment. These are issues that are very strategic to the nation. Issues that we as a sector have to come up with solutions. We need to see how best we can deal with these matters. I remember that uh, we discussed the issue of working with baby learning, transportation, and all those different issues. How do we deal to use various strategies to really respond to this challenge of youth unemployment? Funding issues are becoming important. We'll have to discuss do we, how do we deal with funding in the country? How do we fund students? All those things, there will be presentations around that. The last issue that I wanted to, uh, the issue of research capacity. Research is very strategic. Are we doing enough in terms of research? Are we collaborating as institutions in the area of research? Uh, do we have infrastructure to support our research activities? So these are the issues that we need to discuss. L lastly, uh, the area that we will also have to focus on is the articulation aspect, uh, quality assurance, assessment frameworks. In particular, I'm thinking about uh, as we venture into e-learning, what kind of quality assurance mechanisms do we have to put in place to ensure that these programs that are delivered online or people are, you know, uh, providing online are are actually of quality. So those are the main areas that we have flagged. Uh, we need your frank inputs, frank discussions around that. We need your suggestions in terms of that. At the end of the day, what we will have to come up with is we'll identify the, around these topics key strategies. Uh, we will identify maybe how to implement these issues and timelines, like an action plan that we will have to come up with pertaining to that one. And then that will guide us in terms of uh, even the financing. When we engage the Minister of Finance, we will use these things to actually uh, try and get more resources to the sector. So in, let me then welcome you to this very important and first engagement of this nature. Please, let's be frank in our discussions. Let's come up with practical and implementable uh, actions. And let's align our activities to societal needs and industry demands as we move forward. How best can we respond to that? So with these few comments, I really welcome you all and thank you for turning up in large numbers this morning. So welcome and thank you very much.